today I want to talk to you about hardening off your seedlings. Good morning and welcome to Wholesome Roots. Today I want to talk to you about hardening off your seedlings. So whether you're hardening off store-bought plants that were grown in a greenhouse environment their whole life or plants that you started from seed in your own house, whether they are cold weather plants or hot weather plants, they all need to be hardened off. So hardening off is going to take into consideration three major components, light, wind, and temperature. So let's start with light. Light is going to be something you have to be really careful about. So first of all, if you've been growing under grow lights, you've been giving a specific spectrum of light to these plants. It's not ever going to be the same spectrum as actual sunlight. If you've been growing them in a windowsill with natural light, there's still a reduced amount of UV rays that are coming through your, your windows. So it's important that you gradually adjust them to the amount of light they're going to receive. The best way to do this is to put them in a location that's not full direct sunlight, especially not evening sunlight where it's much stronger on the plants. If you do put them into a situation for either too long or too direct of a sunlight, you're going to end up with sun scald on your leaves, which could damage your plants. So what I'm doing is putting them on the east side of my barn in the afternoon. This is making sure that they're not getting any direct afternoon sunlight. And what I'm going to do is one hour every day, increasing an hour each day as the days go on. So another thing that you need to take into consideration is wind. So even if you have a fan on your plants, which is what is recommended to keep the stems strong and sturdy, having a fan blowing on your seedlings can really help. Uh, we do our fan situation by the cross breeze through our grow room. We open both doors and allow the breeze to be the natural wind. So our plants have already gotten a lot of the outdoor wind as it comes, but on really windy days I close this door and I do not open it. Um, so this is really important that if it's really windy out, you don't put your plants out that day. If you're hardening off and you're on day three or four of hardening off and it's really windy, it's okay to skip a day. Um, skipping a day is not going to make it so that you have to start over. It's just going to be the right conditions for those plants at the right time so that you don't damage them. Strong winds can crack, break, and even just wind burn your, your tender young seedlings. And then the big one is temperature. Your seedlings have been babied their entire life. Since you put that seed into the soil to the moment you began hardening off, you gave them all the attention and love they could possibly get. And you've kept their temperature very consistent. It hasn't fluctuated. More than likely, unless you have an outdoor greenhouse you're growing in, you have kept these in your house or your garage, or somewhere where the temperature stays about the same day and night. The difference in the outdoor world is that it's going to be hot during the day and cold at night. These plants are not used to that yet and they are not ready for that until you've gone through a whole week at least of hardening them off into those temperatures increasing by an hour each day. So if it's a really hot day that's much higher than your normal indoor temperature, it's probably better to give them less time outside. If it's a very cold day, it's probably not a good idea to put them out at all unless you're late on in the hardening off or they are very cold hardy plants. And when I say cold, it, that's all relative depending on where you live and what your climate is like. So I'm going to go ahead and say for your cold weather plants like your brassicas, I would not put them out if it was under 30 degrees. Really, I probably wouldn't even do it if it was under 32 degrees if I was at the beginning of the hardening off stage. If you're closer towards the end of a week or 10 days, then it might be fine to leave them out in a 30 degree temperature, but you definitely want to be careful 
not to do that early on. If they are warm temperature things, like tomatoes or eggplants, I would not put them out if it was under 50 degrees. So think of it like this. When you buy a goldfish, you have to take that goldfish in the water that it was in, in its bag, and set it in to the water that you're gonna be adding it to, the tank that it's going into, and gradually let that water change over. It's kind of the same idea with hardening off. You don't wanna make any drastic changes of temperature, wind, or sunlight, because those could all harm your plants. But if you do it gradually, and you keep an eye on the forecast, you're gonna see that your plants are gonna get stronger and stronger each day that goes on. Sometimes you might forget and you might leave them out on a really sunny day or you might leave them out on a really cold night and hopefully this doesn't happen but occasionally that can actually help increase the strength of the plant. It's not something I recommend but it's not always going to mean that it's the end of the world. So definitely keep an eye on the forecast. Let your plants show you if they're happy or not happy. Another thing to take into consideration is watering. Um, sometimes people say to decrease your watering as you're hardening off, but I have found that if you decrease your watering during the hardening off, it's actually an extra stress for the plant. So I don't recommend decreasing the water while you're hardening off. Once you have them in your garden bed, your garden beds should be maintaining the proper moisture level because they are full of organic matter and fully composted material to help retain the moisture and they're properly mulched most of the time. So those are my recommendations. Those are my tips and tricks. I hope that this has helped you today so that you know how to transition your plants before you plant them out in your garden. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots.